Seremban, famous for its beef noodle, big crab and siu pao. The properties and lifestyle there are more affordable. I guess that's why many people choose to live in Seremban and travel to KL to work. But I wonder how they do it. Isn't it tiring to travel to and fro Seremban and KL for 5 days a week? I wonder what this lifestyle is like. Is it doable? Personally, I don't think I can do this every day. La. I hear the jam is actually very scary. But I'll do it anyway, so you don't have to. Hey, we do it for 3 days only. Eh? But before that, gotta refill and top up first. Alright, are you guys ready? Yes. Let's go. Where the hell is the button? <laughs> With the jam, it took us roughly 1 hour and 40 minutes. Most of the jam happened in Klang Valley area, but once you hit the highway towards Seremban, it's pretty smooth. By the time we reach, our stomachs were growling. And being in Seremban, it can only mean one thing. We had to have crab for dinner. We have to say this restaurant was more of a tourist attraction, therefore it was more expensive as well. I believe if you are really living here, you would either head home for dinner or go to a more affordable restaurant nearby your housing area. After dinner, we headed to our accommodation and we chose this place. Welcome to our home for the next two days! Alright, so we just got back from dinner and I also took my shower. It's been a long day and tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up at 6.15 to travel back to KL to work and also to avoid the jam. So, good night guys and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, right now we are headed back to KL to work. According to Waze, it's going to take us about one hour plus. Uh, that's also because we woke up a little bit later. Uh, according to most people here, they say that if you want to avoid the jam, you got to leave before 7 o'clock. If not, you can leave at around 9 o'clock, which by then the jam will clear off a bit. But so far for us, this first stretch here, leaving at about 7.20, um, it's very clear, it's a very nice drive. Actually, I kind of like it at the first part, but I'm not sure when we hit KL area, is it going to be jam? But once you pass Sedang Toll, the jam will start. We were lucky enough because we work in PJ, so we managed to cut through some highways and shortcuts to avoid the jam. We even had time to have breakfast before heading to the office. But the thing about living in Saramban and working in KL is this. You have to really schedule your time properly. Especially if your workplace don't have flexible working hours and you're going to be in the office by 9 o'clock or by a specific time, right? I understand that for some of you, maybe you're working right in the city centre and the jam will be a little bit more heavy. So it really comes down to your office. Do you have a flexible working hours or your company has a very fixed schedule? Anyway, I'm going to have my breakfast right now. Have two eggs a day. Bring on some protein. Build the muscles. Yeah. All right. Here we are in the office. Here's an actual work day in the office for me. My daily task involves me checking my emails, schedule for the day, updating myself with the markets and some news, and then of course the endless brainstorming and back-to-back -back meetings. I don't know about you guys who stay in Saramban and work in KL actually would spend your Friday night in KL before going back. Uh, I assume so lah. So that's why tonight we decided to spend some time here in KL before we head back to Saramban. Also is to avoid the Friday night jam lah. After spending the night in downtown KL, we left around 10pm. The rush hour jam has cleared, so the drive down was pretty smooth. But after a long day, we were certainly quite tired. This time, it took us roughly around 1 hour and 20 minutes to reach our hotel. The only downside that I can see in all this is just that you probably need to spend a little bit more on petrol and a little bit more when it comes to toll. But if you really enjoy living away from the city in a place that's a little bit more chill and relaxed, then it's probably worth it. Good 
morning! So today is a Saturday and we are going to fully explore Saramban just like a local here and we're going to begin our day by having a breakfast in their local market for their famous Hyongki Sotong Mi Hoon. I heard it must try so right from my face, let's dig into it. And next up, we are here at X Park Vanda Sri Sandayan to do some awesome and fun activities. So let's go! By the way guys, do you know that Banda Sri Sandan is actually a residential township itself? So if you guys are considering to move to Saraman and live here, you can actually check it out. It's actually pretty nice. The township is designed to be a sustaining city whereby all the convenience are just nearby, such as commercial areas, an international school, a Chinese school, a clubhouse, X Park and so on. Two of the nearby precincts, namely Resort Homes and Resort Residence One, have been sold out, so it's pretty sought after. There are still two more precincts to be launched under Resort Series. They are the Resort Residence Two, their double-storey terrace unit, and Resort Villa, a bungalow unit. And based on its previous track record, I think it's a strong indication that the latest precinct will have a good take-up once it's launched. So, if you like a premium resort living concept and a low-density residence, this place could be a good choice for you. Currently, these two projects are still under construction. Upon completion, the residence will have its own lake park for activities. The best part is that the Pristine is a mere walking distance from the clubhouse, making it the most premium parcel in Banda Sri Sandayan. Anyway, if you're interested to find out more about the property here, or you would like to join us for our next trip down to visit this housing project, do fill up the form in the link below. Alright, that's all for checking out this place and right now, I'm super hungry, so let's go for some food. And what's coming in Saramban without having their famous beef noodles? So now we are in Yiki, the famous beef noodle shop. I can't wait to dig in, man. Over the past three days, here are some things that I've learned. First, the drive is not that bad. It's actually quite enjoyable, although it would require you to do some planning. Secondly, the lifestyle here is more laid back compared to KL. At least during the weekend, you won't be stuck in the jam if you're heading to town. I also noticed there are quite many local food stalls that are much cheaper than KL. So the living cost here could be much more affordable than KL. Hey love, you want to move to Saramban? No. I'm honestly glad that I took up the challenge. It was truly eye-opening for me to be able to live in Saramban and work in KL, making that daily journey. It makes me understand why some of you guys would choose to do that. I mean, you get the best of both worlds. You get the hustle bustle in the city of KL during the daytime. Then in evening, when you head home, you are in a much more laid back, relaxed place with much more open space and closer to nature. So for those of you who prefer to stay away from the city, have a more laid back life, style. I think Sermon is actually a pretty interesting place to consider. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for coming along this journey with us. If you like this video, do hit the like and share this video with your friends. Also, let us know what is your favourite thing to do in Saramban or perhaps your favourite food. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week.